paso. Good morning vlog. It is the start of day two. It is 6.40 in the morning. We're getting up bright and early so we can get ready. We have to meet at our kayak spot at 7.50. So we do get free breakfast here at the Home Two Suites here in Lake Powell. Um, yeah, so next time you see me, I shall be not in my PJs and somewhat more put together. And we're back. We have our contacts in. I have my one-piece swimsuit on from Gymshark as well as some running shorts. I'll show you in a little bit uh, mirror soon. Um, we're just going to fix this hair up because having it down while kayaking or doing activities isn't always the easiest. So. I think today the look we're going to do is some boxer braids. So I'll just probably speed through this part. And there you have it, inside out boxer Dutch braids. Now Time to show you guys my whole outfit. So today we are going kayaking inside Lake Powell and if weather permitting, which it is fairly hot today, we are able to go swimming inside Lake Powell. So I am wearing this one piece swimsuit from Gymshark. I got it during the Gymshark Black Friday sale. And then these running shorts I've had since like middle school but they're nice and comfortable and we'll just be able to stay nice and cool and then my jewelry is from goriana this is the lou hoop and the wilder necklace and yeah i'll probably just be wearing some waterproof sandals and we'll see you at breakfast because we get free breakfast at this hotel we're ready and to go to breakfast mask on safety first Get this mask at nataliemills.com. Use code Tarina for 15% off. So unfortunately, due to COVID-19, the breakfast, continent, typical continental breakfast here is closed. Um, they did provide little um, lunch to go boxes, or I'm sorry, not lunch, breakfast to go boxes that they've prepared for us. Um, I'll give you a look at what they look like. It's not as great as, you know, a little breakfast bar, but it's better than nothing. And you know, what can you do with COVID? So the breakfast provided by the hotel is easy eggs, hard boiled eggs with a bagel and a Philadelphia cream cheese and a yogurt. Um, pretty typical. I wish I could warm my bagel up, but you know, we can't. Morning vlog. So we just checked in at Kayak Lake Powell. So it was kind of hard to find. So if you are going to ever rent from there, just know that there is like a storage, boat storage type building that GPS will lead you to, but it's actually up the hill and a little like shack on its own. So just know that it's not where the GPS probably will lead you. Um, so now we are following the tour guide in our own car to Lake Powell and it is a national park so it does cost I think $30 a vehicle uh, to park there so we're just gonna follow him there and then we'll be loading into our kayaks and that will be the next time we see you. Hello vlog, we are currently on Lake Powell. We are kayaking and we are going towards Antelope Valley Canyon. I'll show you more views as we get closer.
so we are in something called the echo chamber right now as you can see he's clapping and just showing how it echoes and it's all a high around us it's so cool and so pretty let me just show you the other side So we just got off our kayaks. We're doing a short little hike. Catherine's back there. Say hi! <laughs> and now we're just hiking a little further in. So after that tremendously difficult arm workout, we are done. We're now walking up this steep hill back to our car. We had a great time. Shout out to Luke from Kayak Lake Powell. We had a great time. Um, the views as you saw were stunning and it was a really great experience. And now we just have to walk up this huge hill and we'll get to go get lunch. It's not that much later. We are back in our hotel room. We got food to go. We went to Bird House, which is a, I guess, pretty popular fried chicken place that is like five minutes from our hotel. And our uh, tour guide, uh, Luke, from our kayak actually recommended it. He's like, oh, do you like fried chicken? We're like, sure. And so we're going to try this and um, let you know how it goes and just show you what the layout looks like. So we got some fried chicken legs, and then thighs, fries, chicken and rice, coleslaw, gravy, and then some of their sauces. Hello friends, so we finished eating lunch. Overall, I'd give it a seven and a half out of 10. The chicken was pretty good, it's just we did get the 10 wing box, which is a little bit bigger than we expected because they do whole size wings, which is like the, the tail of it and the beginning, so it's like triple the size basically. Um, their buttermilk ranch is really, really good. Highly recommend. They have this, uh, hot sauce. It's like Crystal's hot sauce, which basically tastes just like buffalo sauce. So I got to mix it together and make a little buffalo ranch. And then we did their mashed potatoes. Really, really good. Their chicken and rice or chicken flavored rice tastes just like fried rice. So if you want some of that, it's pretty good. Their coleslaw I thought was okay. And, um, their fries are pretty good. Um, they're not amazing, but... If you want fries, I would get them. And overall, I'd probably, if we were back in the area, I would get Bird House again. Hello, vlog. So after lunch, we took a slight nap and now we've driven 10 minutes from our hotel to Horseshoe Bend, which is super popular, super well-known. And it's only $10 for parking. And it's like a three-fourths mile hike round trip or one way, one way. Three-fourths mile one way. 
So about a mile and a half total. Super simple. We just figured we'd come for sunset and we'll show you footage along the way. As you can see behind me is Horseshoe Bend. The hike is really quite easy. Um, it's a short walk. Um, people were wearing like Birkenstocks, flip flops, like not hiking boots. But if you want to like trek up the different size rocks like we did, like hiking boots is the most ideal. Um, there are so many different like areas. Yeah, you should stay on the main trail, but like there's huge rocks here that are like safe to climb. Um, there's just a lot of options, but definitely right now we're, it's about 518 and we were trying to come for sunset, which is about six o'clock, but the sun does make it a little overcast and foggy looking, um, but it's still pretty nonetheless. But I would advise coming probably early morning and it's very crowded as I will show you right now. Look how big the crowds are. It really was quite pitiful how badly people were social distancing considered COVID-19. If you still decide to go during this time, I highly advise going off the main path and climbing the rocks and getting away from the crowds. Again, we are sitting in the most prime real estate here at Horseshoe Canyon. We are like right pretty much on the edge. See how we pretty much have actual seats and then we place to put our feet and we don't feel like we're totally at risk. The sun's going down. We're just sitting here enjoying the sunset. It's so stunning. There's some people down there kayaking. And it's just so beautiful. The sun has gone down. It's not as foggy, so it's pretty and there's a boat coming through. But great time just sitting on the ledge, watching the sunset. And we're gonna walk back to the car soon enough and we'll be heading back to the hotel. Hello vlog, we are back in the hotel room after Horseshoe Bend Canyon. Um, we did stop by Sonics on the way, we wanted to try their like frosty milkshake kind of ice cream thing. Um, for dinner we're still really full from having the fried chicken from earlier so I'm probably just gonna have some of the leftovers or you know whatever snacks we brought. We're not hungry for a full meal and we just came back to the hotel room. It's 6.46, so we're probably just gonna relax and just chill out for the rest of the night. It's been a relatively long day. We did get to nap earlier, but like tomorrow we do have to pack up and go on our way to Moab, Utah. So um, just for tonight, it's gonna probably be the end of the vlog. Just gonna relax, take a shower, and just chill out, edit a little bit. So thank you for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow for a travel day from Page, Arizona to Moab, Utah.